and I really didn't feel I was doing a bad job. I felt I was a pretty good dad. But what my parents had taught me, I was passing on down. And someday he was going to pass it on to his kids. And the cycle would never be broken. And so when I found out that my son was going to kill himself, I didn't even think about a cycle. I thought about, if he kills himself, my life will be ruined. I, I couldn't live with myself knowing that I was that bad of a father. Every Friday night, I went up to his room. I said, son, every Friday night for five years, I'm the father, I'm the fire chief, I'm the commander. Son, how did I do this week? On a scale of A, B, C, D, F, how did I do? Well, Monday you were a little out of sorts, Dad. And he was very honest with me. Tuesday you did good, Wednesday you did good, I'm gonna have to give you a C this week. Oh, and you know I had sat there and I was like, oh, I'd love to smack him. <laughs> and, uh, and, but getting a C that week meant next week I'm gonna get a B or an A, because I'm gonna try harder. And it was a, a competition for me. And so the next week, didn't get angry. And looking back on it now, I used to ask him to do things, but I never taught him anything. Just go do it. And then he'd mess it up, and then I'd chew him out. Spank him, kick his butt, tell him how worthless he was. So by the time he was 11, he pretty much had it in his head that he was worthless. He was gonna graduate from high school when he was 16, so I had five years, five years to make up 11 years. And uh, it was the most grueling thing as a parent that I've ever done in my life. A longer